Well, hi there. Once again, you're back here with Barry, and it's great to be back after so long. I want to get started by saying <clears throat> it's been months since I've done any videos, and part of it was redundancy. Like I said, we've been informing people months, even years ahead of the curve. Uh, the accuracy is second to none. I take no credit for that. It comes from other sources. I'm just a purveyor. But over the last six months, uh, one of the things I wanted to do, and I've been putting it off for quite some time, was since we lost the other truck in a river flood, uh, I imported another uh, Land Cruiser, uh, 31. Now it's actually 33 years old, starting January 1st. Wow, happy birthday. Anyway, uh, but I imported it on a right-hand drive, okay? And I thought that was just a misdemeanor or a ticket in the Dominican Republic. But evidently, uh, coming from some reliable sources, no, they can actually confiscate it and uh, you could lose it after 90 days if it's not converted. So over the last six months, a major project, and it's one of my bucket list projects. Um, those of you that know me personally know I'm a bit of a gearhead and I love off-roading. Anyone who watches my videos would know that. My, my dad and I used to do a lot of circle racing, uh, quarter mile tracks in Canada, so I guess it's just in my blood. And I really enjoyed that project. Um, it took six months to do. There was over 183 wire connections alone to change everything from the power windows, power mirrors, and blah, blah, blah. But now, starting New Year's, we are back and we'll be back on the road doing a bunch more informative videos about what it's like and what it is down in the DR. I want to take a brief moment and wish everybody a happy holiday and a happy new year in spite of the <clears throat> volatility, uh, again, as we told you would be coming. And again, I take no credit for any of this. It's just that I'm connected to the right sources and I pay for certain information. Nothing's for free. And the information I pay for uh, over the last 15 years has turned out to be, I'd say conservatively, 95% accurate. I'm staying with it. You guys do what you think's right. But another reason I stopped harping about trying to get people together is it became more and more apparent people are fighting this with a cell phone and an email. And that's exactly how the opposition knew you would take to it. And as people get more hungry and more violence comes in big time in the next year, I'm sorry to say, but it is just fact, how the West will stop at nothing until they ignite a war over in Ukraine and those poor idiots are using themselves as cannon fodder because Zelensky's just been stockpiling and relocating and washing money and there you have part of the FDX uh, catastrophe with the crypto. Um, speaking of crypto, it's kind of interesting, year to date, how much hate mail I had. I never said crypto was bad. I said use it as a stock. And like any stock, I believe last year, if you want to check your records, it started around 48,000 last uh, end of December. And right now it's bucking about 16,005. That's in U.S. dollars. I'm not saying if that's what you think is right, go for it. If you think the injection's right, go for it. You see, I'm all about freedom of choice. Uh, but it's just when things get out of hand, like there's over 100 different sexes, or the unjabbed are going to affect the jabbed and give them this so-called, quote, dreaded disease, dreaded virus. When stupidity becomes running rampant like that, I've always looked at why argue with it. Anybody standing 30 feet away looking at two people arguing, they can't tell who the fool is because you both look like fools. So uh, on a short note, we'll be bumping around in the country of the DR again real soon into the new year. The testing's done. We're about 500 clicks on Papayota. Everything's working fine. <clears throat> Don't have AC, but never did in that truck anyway, so I'll live with it. But I uh, want to wish everybody the best of the upcoming year. It is going to be volatile. It is going to have a lot more violence in it. Uh, I would say be very careful what you wish for in Ukraine if you're uninformed about it. But 
After all this, the best thing I want to do is wish you all the best, okay? I look forward to spending some time together in the new year. And I want to get you started on one last effort on three things. I'm going to be doing a series of videos called Reinvest, Relocate, Relive. And perhaps those of you with the means of being able to do so could better understand now the way certain things are unfolding that might not be a bad idea. Uh, over here in the North Coast and uh, little old Cabrera, we're three years into this Mannheim too, and the people are calm. People still accept one or the other, whichever way you choose. And for the greater part, the changes are minimal compared to what subscribers are telling me. Uh, all the way from uh, all parts of Europe, Asia, even Ukraine, which is why I'm getting some good information. We have four or five subscribers there, a couple of which are American married to Ukrainians, so the English, there's no language factor involved. We're getting good boots on the ground information there, which is again why I started Something Feels Wrong. Before shadow banning, we were 25,000 plus subscribers all over this planet. I wanted accurate information, not fluff, not propaganda, to better protect my family. It's paid off in droves. Wishing you the best. We'll catch you on the road in the New Year's, and it'll be good to be bouncing around together once again. Talk to you soon. Bye.